New Haven is a beautiful city that is home to Yale University, a campus full of history, character, and tradition, which is reflected in its architecture. In a new book, An Education in the Grotesque, Matthew Duman features the gargoyles of Yale University. Matthew's a photographer and graphic designer and joins us now on Connecticut Style. Nice to have you here, Matt. Nice to be here. Um, so how did this all get started? Was this a hobby? Did you notice the gargoyles? Give us the background. Uh, it, was, it started as a hobby, yeah. and I like to go around Yale just because it's a very inspiring place. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed there's, there's a lot of decoration in the buildings. And um, I noticed that when I finally noticed that some were really funny, yeah. and there's a lot of character there. They aren't just dry historical pieces. Mm -hmm. So I, I decided that, well, they would make good, good photographs, good compositions. Sure. Let's talk a little bit about kind of the, the Gothic architecture at Yale. OK. Well, go Gothic architecture was actually from the Middle Ages, mm -hmm. and then Yale is an example of collegiate Gothic, okay. which, which came about in probably the um, early 20th century. And it's, it's really to deepen the historical, the his, history and traditions uh, of, of the university. I see. Um, so there's a difference, though, between gargoyles and grotesques. Yeah. Um, generally, a grotesque is just a, um, a decoration on a, on a building, mm -hmm. usually a... Um, a person or a creature, sometimes real or fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then a gargoyle is a grotesque which channels water off the roof. It's actually from the French word meaning gargoule, meaning okay. throat. I see. And uh, we were chatting before we went on about uh, you still visit Yale pretty often and you yeah. sometimes catch new gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah. Just the other day I was down at the, um, at the Hall of Graduate Studies and right under a nook way up inside, <laughs> I looked up and there's a guy sticking his tongue out at you. That's so funny <laughs> because didn't... none of them were all scary. Some of them were oh. kind of humorous. Yeah. Um, and they're also in black and white in your book. What was yeah. your thought process behind that? Well, I, I discovered early on that generally, well, most of the gargoyles are not in color. They're, they're, they're not painted or anything. Mm -hmm. And so, so that means that any, any color would distract from the That's form true. and the, and and the shape of the gargoyle, so I so you so kept I it an original state, yeah. kind of, right? So that would be the, the main po focus. Got it. Uh, let's take a look at some of the pictures, and you can describe the gargoyles and the grotesques that we're looking at. Oh, that's one from the library. Okay. And that's actual, actually a student who's distracted from his, from his textbook by a newfangled radio set. <laughs> wow, okay. And this is also from the library. This is a guy laughing at his book, because if you look in the pages, it says, you are a and then the next page, J-O-K-E. So a joke. Yeah. Wow. Now, are these all done by different uh, artists? Well, the ones in the library um, were sculpted by Rene Chambellan, mm -hmm. um, but the other buildings were, were a, a range of different artists. Sure. Now, this one's a little bit more intimidating, I feel like. This was one of the first ones I've noticed that had that had that that had a lot of humor to it. Oh, it's and, humor. And okay. Which, <laughs> so I so I went so that, that set me off to. Um, see, see, to try to find them all over the, the sure. campus. And um, what is it? Is it an, an Indian? I can't really tell. It's an Indian and a settler. Okay. Um, pointing, well, the settler's pointing a gun at a blunderbuss at the Indian. Oh, and the that's Indian has what's a, happening. <laughs> the, the Indian has a bow and arrow pointed at the. Okay, got it. All right, I think we have one more here. Oh, this is this is one of the only ones that's actually colored, because. Okay. It's actually painted every year by the seniors at Trumbull College, and it's huh. a guy sitting on a toilet, and they, um, <laughs> and it's it located in appropriately enough potty court. Ah, I get and, it. Um, they paint it to look like their um, their current dean. No kidding, that's kind of a lot of tradition there. And then lastly, and this is this is also in Trumbull. This is actually the top of the Trumbull Master's House. This is a demon who stole a, a crown. Wow, and they all have little stories behind them, yeah. right? <laughs> Um, Matthew, you have some upcoming appearances where we could learn more about these gargoyles. Um, let's put it up on the screen. The first one is going to be at the New Haven Public Library. Give us the details. Yeah. At um, 3 o'clock, I'll be doing a lecture, and then it'll be followed by, at 4 o'clock, a tour. Oh, great. Through, through oh, around, around the, the campus? campus? That's yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then back for wine and cheese afterwards at the library. All right. Very good. And then you have another one coming up October 9th. You're going to be over in Naugatuck at the Whittemore Library. Yep. I'll be doing a lecture there as well. And you recommend signing up ahead of time for these? Yeah. All right. And where can we find your book? Um, at my website, which is www.yalegargoyles.com. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. All right. Uh, more style after the break. We're heading into the kitchen with the Cocina Cops. When style returns, we'll be right back.